Uh, oh, that could be um, that could be a bit of a love bite there. Anything could be happening with Barbie. She's uh, quite random. Oh yeah, I've got a nice, big, fat, and juicy cockroach there. A lovely Easter treat for Barbie the Redback Spidey. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. Normally over Easter, you give people Easter eggs, but I've got a redback spider, and a redback spider will love a beautiful, juicy cockle roach. There's Barbie there. Uh, that is her fifth egg sack. I dealt with the other four a little while back. And now the very delicate procedure of presenting Barbie with a wonderful, wonderful meal here. And I'll just put it in a web. Man, it's a heavy one. I'll put it somewhere there. And from here on, anything can happen. The trick here is that cockroach has to be extremely still not to arouse the red back. Oops, that's not looking too good if you were the cockroach. A bit of a curious thing about Barbie, I've never seen the little tiny male red back spider in her luxurious home here. I'll just move the lid underneath Barbie's home. It'll make me see the action a bit clearer. Oh, the tension is building up. It's building up. Barbie's getting closer and closer. And I tell you what, that would present a massive meal for her. She's not very big in the back end at the moment. So I dare say she needs a feed. We're heading into the cooler time of year. She would be reclusing into her winter mode in oh, maybe a couple of months. But this will be a fantastic feed to get her through winter. Oh, she's coming in for a touchy, touchy, feely, feely moment by the looks of it. Well, Barbie's done it up here. She's started to do some web maintenance and the cockroach has actually just struggled down a bit down near that bottom plate. And now she's raced back down the bottom there, right up near the cockroach again. Oh, okay, this is it. This is it. Oh. Okay, where's Barbie gone? I'm just not seeing her at the moment. Where does she go to? Where's Barbie? That's really weird, she's just popped outside for a bit to get some fresh air. Hey, there's nothing out here for you, your food's inside. I think it's best if I tease her back into her home. Do you think that's going to work? Come on, in you go, girl. Go, go, good girl, there you go. Food's in there. Well, you can't quite see Barbie, but she is directly under the cockle roach. And that cockle roach is making the wrong sort of moves. That's going to alert Barbie there's a fantastic meal. I'll tell you what, Barbie's a sneaky thing. She's at the tail end of the cockle roach there, and occasionally you'll see one of her legs come around that, that plate section. You can just see her legs at the back of the cockroach. Oh, how scary is that? We're in that time again when it seems like nothing happens, but if the cockroach moves, I'll tell you what, Barbie gets very excited. I'm going to condense some time here because Barbie was being quite sluggish in jumping on the cockroach for a meal. Sometimes these spiders are like this, but not very often. She may be about to molt. She may be spooked a bit because it is daytime. She may not be hungry, but from what I've seen, redback spiders will basically take advantage of any meal that comes their way. Earlier this year, I did notice a cicada caught up in a redback spider's web at the local gym. I have seen dead cicadas in the web here before, but this cicada was still alive. Mind you, it didn't have that much strength left in it. I did record the whole event of the cicada in the redback spider web, but the one thing I noticed was how cautious the redback spider was when there was something quite large presenting in its web. The local gym in our suburb is infested with redback spiders, and I think the dynamic that goes on there is the lights are on at night, that attracts all sorts of critters and bugs, and the redback spider is set up on the stairs and can feed like kings. Anyway, it did take some time, but Barbie did come to her senses, and we will go back to her home to see what happened. Well, in the end, and I wasn't around to witness it because, it, well, it just took forever for this to happen, but Barbie did grab the giant cockle roach. She's now feeding on that there, and I think that would get her through winter time, and she'll probably produce another egg sac after devouring that giant cockle roach. Well, it sort of gets back to that old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. Um, yeah, redback spiders don't pounce on things immediately sometimes. So I thought she was about to molt and she might have been off her food for a bit. And I'll just put the lid back on there so she's happy again. Well, now we can all rest easy. Barbie's had a giant meal there before winter strikes. And redback spiders can go for many, many months without needing a feed.
Don't you worry, Barbie's been well and truly fed for winter. One week later. I've got another beautiful cockle roach for Barbie. So I'll come in here and very carefully remove this lid. Uh, see where she is. Okay, she's down the bottom there. There she is there, and that's still her fifth egg sac there. It might be time to remove that today. There's no guarantee how she'll react to the cockle roach. Um, they can ignore it, as I saw last time, but they do end up eating it. And I'll put it in the web somewhere there. And again, it's a game of if the cockroach makes the right or wrong sort of moves, well, Barbie may or may not come and grab the cockroach. Well, she has moved closer, but I've seen that before from Barbie. She can be a bit of a trickster. I just noticed another spider in here with Barbie. I believe that's a very, very immature female redback. Uh, when I see it up on screen, I'll know more. Barbie's moved closer again. She has done that thing where she puts one of her legs and touches the cockle roach. Oh, oh man, it's getting exciting. She's very, very close. I'd hate to be that cockle roach at the moment. Oh my crikeys, I don't know what to do, whether to keep rolling this iPhone. When she snaps, she'll snap fast. Oh yes, yes, yes. There's the back leg action, we've got web going there. That's just beautiful to witness, I can tell you. And this time round, she's been far more decisive in taking action here. Last time... She just, well, was playing some weird game. Oh, cockroach is putting, putting up a bit of a, a stink there. And she's coming in. I dare say there could be some sort of blindside bite going on there. It's not a love bite, I can tell you. That's the, the kiss of death. Oh, just stunning to, to witness this. And I, I really like Barbie. She is my pet red back out in the yard here. Stunning spider. And she's a beautiful thing. Just doing some work on the back there. She's coming around. I love the way she plays. More web action there, back leg action from the back of her. Just beautiful to watch. Very, very interesting spiders, redback spiders. Just don't try and handle them. They, uh, they wouldn't be that friendly, I don't think. Do more web action there on the back, so we can't quite see it clearly. She might come around to the, the front here. I've got the light on in the phone. That may be spooking her a bit. Oh, that could be um, that could be a bit of a love bite there. Anything could be happening with Barbie. She's uh, quite random. There's a bit of a wider shot there. There's yeah, some more leg action going on. Just beautiful, beautiful work. And she wouldn't be hungry because she only had that other cockroach. It was about a week back. That was the beginning of this video. She's doing a lot of um, web work at the back. So that's like the, the winged side of the cockroach, if I could uh, say it like that. Probably got all the legs under control, the antenna area. Now she's coming up to the, to the rear part. Now she's spun around. She's quite indecisive, I noticed the old Barbie. I think this is the fourth cockroach that I've fed Barbie. Um, I don't know if I videoed all of them. I, know, I, I certainly know I videoed the first one. There she goes. She's just, I mean, I never get bored of watching the redback spiders and the way they work. Especially when they're tackling something which is bigger than them. I think it's very impressive to watch. Oh, I'm now getting an over temperature warning on my iPhone. Is that rigged or does Apple want me to buy a new phone? The other smaller spider, I should point it out, with the tweezers, it's there. And of course, Barbie and the cockroach is further down there. Well, it has quietened down in here a little bit now. Oh, the cockroach is still making a few squirmy moves. I'm um, continuing on without a light on the phone. It's only 23 degrees today. And look, that's that's not really a hot day. Like we're sort of lapsing into um, well, winter mode very soon. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't think Barbie will be doing too many more moves. And all I know is my iPhone 7's um, decided to play heat stress on me again. Now I'm getting a low battery warning. I have to come in and get that egg sack as well. That's baby Barbie's fifth one. I nearly said something else then. Okay, here we go. And hopefully get this while she's totally distracted without getting my fingers too far into her nest. Okay, just put it here for a sec. 
I wonder how far away it was from opening up. Hmm, you just sort of don't know of these things. That's what's scary about them. I think I got away with that. Barbie doesn't realize I've stolen another egg sack from her. Well, it's time to close Barbie's little home up and I'll put this back on top and she will have a wonderful, wonderful feed of that. It was actually quite a large cockroach. Yummy. I noticed there's a couple of ants playing underneath Barbie's house. I might have a small treat for them. Put that red back spider egg sack just there where the ants are running around. That's one of these things either lots of things will happen or nothing will happen. Okay, there's ants coming to this and they get very excited and change speed very rapidly. I might just go away for, I don't know, five or ten minutes and come back and see what happens, hey? I've had to dig deep into my red back spider archives and I have seen ants be very reactive when I presented to them a red back spider after a bit of red back spider flamethrower roundup. And as I've witnessed before, an ant colony can be extremely fast in acting upon a meal that's presented near their ant nest. In fact, sometimes the ant colony action can get very fast and intense, and if you're not careful, you may miss the action when you're trying to video it. And if you ever do witness ants getting very excited over a meal, you start to learn a lesson. Don't mess with ants. Don't ever present to them as a meal. But can I get an ant colony to be excited about the tiny spiderlings that reside inside a redback spider egg sack? It's about 15 minutes later and I believe that's one of the holes to the ant nest and it's really just underneath where Barbie lives, which surprises me. Well then again, it doesn't surprise me as well. Am I seeing the ant activity that I was expecting to see here? Well, no, it's sort of just like last time and for me it was basically a month back. It was my autumn equinox around the 20th, I think. I hope I'm right there tried this before and it seems like the ants aren't that interested in these red back spider egg sacs. Now I had a look at the temperature in Fahrenheit of 23 degrees Celsius, that's 73 degrees Fahrenheit, that's where my phone is telling me all sorts of heat warnings so um, I don't know what's going on there. It never used to do that and uh, I did have a bit of a look at that red or well, the other spider which I believe is a very very immature red back spider up inside with Barbie and I believe it's a female. Just had a look at the picture I'm hoping I'm right there. It is very hard to tell when they're very, very young. It's been a little bit like myth busting, trying to work out what the ants go for and try to make them swarm something. I really think they're more interested in uh, that nest work that they're doing over there and what I've laid out for them as a free meal, well, they don't care. Well, for me at least, that's another red back spider egg sack that didn't get to full maturity and that's what these red back spider homes are all about. It's so I can keep control of the spiders, see when the egg sacs are being laid up, let them stay there for a little while so the spider thinks it's got a family and then while spiders are distracted just very sneakily take the egg sacs away and hopefully the spider will not notice. Okay, I give in. I wave a little white flag. Apple, you win. My iPhone has done everything it can to stop me from making this video. I've had heat messages, I've had it shut down a couple of times now, I've got to keep stopping and going inside and cooling it down. It's only a 23 degree day. Sure, I can accept this happening on a 40 something degree day, but what is going on here? Is Apple trying to say to me, go out and buy the latest iPhone? Oh, anyway, this video is over. Don't blame me. Blame the thing that's in my hand here called the iPhone 7.